about 10 minutes ago, I got this email from the NFL Network that um, the league's game statistics group, there's a group of folks who watch the game and compile statistics. Mm -hmm. They're the ones who uh, gave me a fantasy loss earlier this year when they took a touchdown away from Kyle Rudolph for recovering a ball oh, in the end right. zone that they still thought that Latavius Murray broke the plane. Uh, they have officially changed the statistic from a missed kick for Cody Parkey to a blocked field goal. Oh, it was tied. It it's officially it now a block, a Trayvon Hester yeah. block. That they Zapruder film has been going around the internet today. It's now officially. I saw someone say that on Twitter that it was tipped. Do you think it's different? Do you think um, that makes it different for Cody Parkey now that it's a it's officially in the books as a block kick? No. You know, um, well, I mean, I, I mean, it, it definitely altered the kick. If it was tipped, you know, it altered the trajectory. So definitely. Um, but I think, um, I mean, ultimately, I mean, that's, that's a kick that you have to make. You have to make that kick unless it's just outright blocked or just tipped to the point to where it's, you know, it, the trajectory is just way off. Right. I mean, that's a kick that you have to, to make. And when I saw him kick the first one, because I couldn't really, he I didn't have my ear earphones in, mm -hmm. and uh, I thought the game was over, and I didn't know they iced him. And so, you know, and then I, when I saw his body language, when he kind of ducked his head, I was like, oh, that's not a good sign. It's almost kind of like he, he's not looking forward to kicking it again. And um, that's, I think in my mind, I was like, and I know, he, I think he has a history of kind of missing some kicks, you know, over the course of he the has. season. He um, has. 10 earlier this year. And, yeah, yeah. Um, it's sad because, you know, he seems like a really good kid, and and, um, and that's a Bears town, man. That's a football town. And, so what do you say to the kicker? Would you say something to him? Would you have um, said something to him? I think now that I'm out of the game. Yes. Um, I, you know, I definitely would. I mean, this is the thing about the NFL. The NFL is a, is a, is a business, and the only thing that matters is winning. You know, no one remembers the losers. They only remember the winners regardless of how well you played or how close you came. Um, and although, you know, you have this brotherhood and this friendship um, within the locker room with your teammates, you know, everyone's getting paid to do their job. And, um, you know, my, my coach, uh, Jimmy Ray, used to always say, when you have the ball in your hand, you're, you're playing with the house money. And uh, that doesn't matter who you are, whether you're a quarterback, a running back, receiver, defensive back, whoever it is, kicker. Whenever the ball is in your hands in some capacity, you're playing with the house's money. You have the team's destiny in your hands. So we're relying on each other. So I think initially after the game, yeah, uh, because that's just the humanity in you and, and you, you love him as, as your teammate. But in reality, you know that he, he lost the game. Um, I mean, I didn't do it. He did it. You know, it's kind of like when we played in the Super Bowl. Um, you know, uh, we made too many mistakes. And, um, you know, what, but at the end of the game, we're driving to possibly win. This is how legends are made. You know, imagine, we think we're down 22 to 17, mm -hmm. and we're driving, and it's like five minutes left or four minutes left or something like that. I don't know. We score and we go up. We're heroes forever. Um, but, you know, we have a pass that's thrown into double coverage, pick six the other way. Um, and next thing you know, Less than 10 minutes later, we're getting ushered off the field and they're bringing the bleachers out and confetti's dropping in there. Okay, guys, get off the field. Did you ever say something to Rex? Um, I haven't talked I haven't talked to Rex since since the game because I, I got traded uh, about a month later to the Jets. Um, but if I if I were to say that um, I didn't have any animosity, I would be lying. That haunts me every every day that I didn't win the Super Bowl. It's the one thing in my career that I just can't, get back and it hurts. It hurts. And ultimately, like I said, there's kind of this thin line between being your teammate and and then how you really feel about the situation. Because there's politically correct things that you have to say and then there's ways that you actually feel. Um, so, you know, even though a guy didn't intentionally miss a field goal or a guy didn't intentionally throw a pick six, you missed a field goal, you threw a pick six. And we lost. And now... I've got to go live the rest of my life knowing that I could have possibly won a Super Bowl in Chicago. If you win a Super Bowl in, in the city of Chicago, mm -hmm. uh, I remember we we were playing uh, the night before the uh, the NFC Championship game. We played the Saints, and at the hotel on uh, every TV they had one channel that was playing the '85 uh, Bears parade on Michigan Avenue. So 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 subconsciously, that's what you're thinking. 
that's going to be us. That's going to be us. And then it's not. And then when you break down why, you can look at all the other plays over the course of the game, should have made this play, should have made that play. But then when it comes down to it, when you had the chance, you didn't you didn't make the play. So uh, that's a comp that's that's a complex question with a complex answer. Well, I love the complex answer. You're <laughs> you're a complex individual, Thomas. So it, I'm mandated to ask this follow up question: If you should somehow be at some sort of event, party, whatever, and Rex Grossman's across the room, do you go and say something to him? Um, yeah, I don't. I have no animosity towards him as a person. <clears throat> um, I, I definitely don't. I mean, okay. it's listen. At the end of the day, it hurts, but it's over. You know, you, you move on. Yeah, you got, um, you got a movie coming. You know, out. yeah, I have a movie coming out. No, but but ultimately, you know, when you play the game at a certain level and when you give so much of yourself to the game and your life to the game and the ultimate goal is to win a Super Bowl so you can be a legend, etched in stone forever, and you don't get a chance to do that, as a human being, it's hard not to point the finger. And, um, <clears throat> and sometimes, I mean... Depending on the business you're in, that's what you sign up for. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.